Gabon. Gabon ranks 121 out of 180 on the Press Freedom Index. Media regulator toward ex executioner, the disturbing erosion of press freedom seen above all since the, a new media, re media regulator, the High Authority for Communication Aid, HAC, HAC, began operating in 2018, has continued, it has continued and is posing a major danger to journalists in Gabon. Reporting critical of the president or his close associates is liable to result in suspensions with the sole aim of protecting regime interests. The hack has gone so far as to suspend a newspaper just for criticizing the arbitrary nature of its systematic sanctions. Far from encouraging the emergence of a responsible quality press, this policy helps to throttle the independent press and encourage self-censorship on sensitive subjects. Dubbed the acts by some media outlets, the hack is imposing all of these sanctions at a time of economic precarity for the media. Critical newspapers, radio stations, and TV channels are losing both advertisers and state subsidies. A culture of media freedom and independence is struggling to take hold even online, and Gabon has joined the long list of countries that have discontinued the internet during the coup attempt. The 2016 Communication Code decriminalized media offenses, but otherwise restricts the freedoms of not only the print media, but also other forms of broadcast, print, digital, and cinematographical production. In regard in, 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 in today's day and age, the score in Gabon has uh, increased. It is now at 56, jumping up uh, quite a bit uh, since the debut of the Uncensored Library in 2019. After the coup d'etat on August the 30th, 2023, that ousted President Ali Bongo Amadiba on the day of his re-election, General, General Bryce Oluga Naguma announced his intention to help the press do its job, but the advent of a free and independent press is yet to be a reality, in particular because of the media regulators' heavy-handed sanctions. Many media outlets were created when the multi-party system was restored in 1990. There are now more than 60 print outlets. After the presidential election in August of 2023, just before the coup d'etat, it was not covered by any foreign reporters because the government had denied all requests for accreditation. It also interrupted local retransmission of the French broadcast media to France 24, RFI, and TV5 Monday. So due to the coup d'etat that got rid of the dictator, Gabon is in a much better place today at time of recording than in the past. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg/tim. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.